Hi, YouTubers. We got one. Hey, y'all. Guess where I am? In my new RV. Yes. It's new to me. Let me put it that way. And Bird is working and doing some stuff on it. And we're going to update it. And we're going to... We have a few things we need to do. But uh, I want to tell you how I got this RV. So. We had a pickup truck. We had a nice pickup truck. It was a Ranger extended cab. And it just sat here. We, we never drove it anymore. So... Um, I got this idea. I said, you know, I'm tired of trying to get a newer RV. I said, and I see all these people on here with, <laughs> with RV problems, and they have brand new RVs. That really scared the crap out of me, because I wouldn't have been able to afford to fix an RV and make a payment, etc., etc. So, this man needed a truck. And somebody had traded him an, uh, or somebody traded him a truck to get an RV. And I thought, hmm, I wonder if I could do that. So I tried it. And it took me about two months. And I got a call. And the next thing I know, my RV is here at the house. And he took the truck. Yep. And he was a mechanic. And the people who owned this RV, he was the second owner. The people who owned this RV put 34,000 miles on it. They paid cash for this RV. I was like, oh my God, RV dummy must have got to them too. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> but anyway, he did make me think. He did. He really did make me think by watching his videos. And, you know, I mean... You can't, you don't want to put yourself in debt to do anything, but you do want to have a good time. And if you can do stuff cheaper and for cash, it's better. So, when we got this RV the other day and we traded our truck, I was like, oh my God. And the guy told us exactly what needed to be fixed on it. I mean, I... I the tires look new, but I'm going to replace them because, you know, we always want to have good tires. Um, he said it needs a water pump and um, a caliper So on the brake. So I'm like, that's no big deal. And my son's a mechanic too, so he didn't have time to fix it. He didn't really want to fix it because he didn't want, he really didn't want the RV sitting in his lot anymore is what he said. He said it was just taking up space that he needed. He wanted to plant a garden. He needed a truck. So it worked out good for both of us. But anyway, so now I have an RV. And I'm probably going to be full of questions. Just to put everything together the way I want to. It's in really good shape. Um, I don't know what to say. I mean... Since he bought it, he only put 2,000 miles on it. So the RV has 36,000 miles. And it it just... <clears throat> I figure we, if we want, we can repaint it and make it look nice. And, you know... And yes, you know, older RVs, they're going to cost a little money here and there. You're going to have to fix things up. We're trying to fix things up before they happen. Because... Um, we saved money. We really saved money by not having to do a payment every month. So, I'm going to take you outside and show you around our RV. The inside needs a little bit of updating. But I'll show you that as well. And I'll show you what Bert is doing. He, There was no leaks in this RV except at the front of the cab where it messed up. <clears throat> excuse me, the little um, bed that pulls in and out. So my husband's replacing that. He's doing that first. That was his choice to do first. And um, 
the roof has no leaks whatsoever. They, the people who bought it, bought it with a lot of upgrades, options, I guess they call them. So it really turned out great. Um, so I don't know where to go with what I'm trying to tell you. So let me just show you the RV and, um, and the outside. And I'll tell you, I feel, I feel good about this. I feel good about it because right now we're going to keep our house. We're going to, uh, be part-time RVers, which may run into full-time. We're not sure. And, um... And we'll see. We were doing full-time RV before, and we loved it. But now that we're older and Bert has to have more surgery next week, we're, we're kind of just, you know, we're trying to do things a little bit at a time. But let's go. Let's go see what this RV looks like. Okay, so this is the back room. That's a heater up there that somebody put up there. We got storage, and it's actually twin beds. I thought about maybe removing that um, closet, maybe, and doing it a little bit different, but we'll see. The refrigerator works. That's the dial. It says it has 400 hours and something on the generator. The kitchen needs to be clean. Obviously, <laughs> but I wanted to show you how it is as it is. So, this is the front. That's where Burke's working to get everything fixed. And the air works, believe it or not. And this is the little booth that I love so well. I wanted a booth. And the matching chair, all the upholstery. Is in wonderful condition. It's just, it's just awesome. Now let's go outside so we can show you what it looks like. This is a Tioga, by the way. So, this is it. See if I can get back here without falling. <laughs> The sun's in my eyes. Yep. So that's our RV. So now what I need is some names. So you, can y'all give me some names for this baby? You know, we got her the day that Dorian the hurricane went up north from us. I was thinking about calling her Dorian. <laughs> but I don't think... Uh, People who got hit by her would appreciate that, and I don't blame them. So y'all give me some names. Tell me what you think. Everything looks good on it, except it's dirty. And I don't mind cleaning it all. So y'all look forward to our next uh, video. It's about 110 here in southeast Georgia today. Whew, too hot for me. Time for me to go into the air condition. I love all you guys. Stay with me. Watch my videos. I always watch everybody else's. And you guys have taught me so much. I love you. Bye-bye.